How did humans get here on, on Earth? Right, it, it, humans, you have different... Um, all human DNA time with extraterrestrial DNA. So basically, when you're talking about your Bible, you talk about God coming down, creating man. Mm -hmm. God didn't originate from here. So he would be classified as an extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrial meaning extra, terror would be the planet and um, astral would be the star. So anything that came from outside right. to the planet Earth would be classified as an extraterrestrial, including meteorites, bacteria, other forms of life form. So God of the Bible is an extraterrestrial. If he created man, that means the DNA or the chromosomes that he uses to create man came from him. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that would mean hu human DNA originated outside. Mm. I mean, he kind of went deep with it still. I, I would have first, <laughs> sorry, I, I'll be finished. <laughs> I, would have, I would have said that your mum and dad created you. Mm. Because what it is, religion has made people to think like, like they can't really prove it. Do you know I mean? They will say, God took the dust of the ground mm -hmm. and formed a man, like Adam, yeah? This is Christianity, Islam, <laughs> Judaism, they all say that. You can't take dust of the ground and form a man. That's not scientifically proven. That's not facts. So, and then it goes on even further to say he took a rib from the man to create the woman. Mm -hmm. That's not true either because women, women were here before men. How do I know? Everyone on the planet comes from a woman. That's an actual fact. You came from your mum. You came from your mum. Ca everyone came from their mum. So the woman... The black woman being first, because, you know, Africa's first before mm. every other race is. So the black woman is really the goddess, because every man comes from a woman, right? Now, if we start going further and say, like my brother was going into, where you say, people will say, okay, if you say your mum and dad created you, because you need the sperm from the man, and you need the, the ovum from the woman, and the woman grows the baby in her stomach, People know nine months, but it's actually 12 months because three months prior to the nine months, things are happening in the unseen world or what people call the spiritual world, yeah? So when you say your mum and dad created you, people in religion will be like, but who created them? We're like, their mum and dad. And they'll be like, who created them? Like, their mum and dad. And this can go on and on and on and on. But like my brother said is, when you start to do DNA testing, because now this is... Like, people didn't realise, but, like, from the 1953s, but officially, like, 2003, mm -hmm. there was a project called the Human Genome Project, right? right? Which basically broke down every single cell or genes that make up the races on the planet. Mm -hmm. So now, scientifically, they can take a DNA test from anyone and tell you exactly where you come from and what, what you're mixed with and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. There's a, a guy called Mendel, yeah? Gregor, Gregory or Gregor Mendel, he's the father of genetics and he started the work of genetics. So when you look at the word genes or genetics, you look at G-E-N and then you look at genealogy or genesis, this is dealing with hereditary or how things evolve and come about. So on the planet right now, you have what you call three root races, yeah? The original root race would be, let's say, the Africans and um, through anthropology, now, they, they, they will tell you that's known as the Homo Naledi or the Homo Hibilis, yeah? That's all the African black people. Then you go to the second root race, which they would say is um, the Dravidian or the uh, Mongoloid race, which is like the Chinese or the Asian race. And those are known as the um, Denisovan or the Homo Florensis, right? Then you have the Caucasian, which is... Um, they're known as the Cro-Magnon or the Neanderthal. So now they can tell you exactly who belongs to what race. So this goes back to, as my brother said, about the DNA and the genes. But you can go even further than that. Like before this planet had life form on it or humanoid life forms, how did the life get here? That came by way of what something's known as um, panspermia. panspermia, where you get <coughs> things coming from outer space to um, basically go in the waters, germinate the water, 
Um, I can go into that if you want, but that's a long mm. story. But you had the dolphins that basically germinated the water, and that's how life started in the waters. And then um, tsunamis and certain things took place, and then beans came onto land. But there's been many, many like um, destructions of the planet, not the entire planet, but in different parts, and then a restart again. And this is where Genesis is picking up of one of those when it was starting over again. And that's why I said to you, like, if you don't know the language, you're not going to know these things. So in Genesis, it's talking about the word Genesis in the Hebrew is bar, barashis. And, and it's talking about the recreation of the planet. And this is where Enki and then Lil came here and they were looking for, for gold as you were playing on your tape. They came here looking for gold, Anunnaki. But the, they didn't want to work because they found the atmosphere very difficult for them. So they went about creating a being to do the work in South Africa, yeah, in Monodapa, South Africa. This is where they took the, the genes that were already evolving and they mixed their genes and created what they call a primitive worker, yeah, or a Lulu Amilu to work the mines and do the, the gold. Is, is that same as like a demigod or, or the, Yeah, exactly. Right, right, yeah, right. yeah. Um, the demigods, you can find that in like the Bible in Genesis like 6, 4, where it mm. talks about the Nephilims or the, you know, those beings coming to the planet, having, you know I mean, children from um, the, the Patarites or the beings that were already here evolving and produced these demigods. Yeah. So that's, that's obviously before humans, right? Um, when uh, you say sorry, humans... Sorry, our, our type of human, yeah. Yeah, we've evolved over many, many, mm. many millions of years. That's right. what I'm saying. Like the original humans would be the, the Neolithic or the, the beings in Napata or what they call ancient Egypt. Yeah, they're known as Patarites. They um, then became what you call the Sans people in South Africa. Yeah, and that's how like life... So if you look at the Sans people, again, going back to the DNA, everyone's DNA can be traced back to the Sans people, right. the traits that everyone on the planet has. So those Sans people would be your original from those ancient Patarites. <laughs> Yeah, and then obviously um, ex other extraterrestrials came and obviously created hybrids and mixed with different people to produce. So I didn't actually finish that. So the root race is people will go um, Negroid, uh, Mongoloid and Caucasoid. So that would be African, Asian and then Caucasian. But those three create what we call sub-races. That's any mixture of any of those. So if a black or African mixes with a mongoloid, they'll produce a sub-race. And then if, you know, either of those produces sub-races. But then you also have um, extraterrestrials and different beings that are abducting different people and producing hybrids. So you have something called neutronoid race as well, where they can take different genes from different people and create a new being that you can't really tell which one of the races or the root races they belong to. So there's a lot, there's a lot to our history and the story of the planet. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm taking no, it in. That's all right, that's all right. I so, hope we're, we're, we're making it clear. Yeah, no, no, it's good. It's good, yeah. definitely. Um, just to get my head around it, is it kind of, would you say it's angels that colonised Earth to have a workforce for, to mine gold? Mm. Is, that, is that how you describe it? What did you, repeat that? Um, would you describe it as angels kind of colonising the Earth um, to make demigods to, to then mine the gold? Mm. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it depends on what you yeah. call angels as well. Mm. Right, right, right. Because right, yeah. there's a misconception again with that. Because it, it, if you're coming from a biblical or a religious point mm. of view, um, people think angels are little cherubs with wings. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Or like men or women with wings. But that's a picture that came from the 16th chapel where Michelangelo mm. actually painted a picture of angels with wings. But a human being cannot get above the planet more than six miles before they can't breathe and they will die. So angels can't be humans with wings, yeah? Now, back in the day when they didn't have so much information, that would make sense because they related, it, related anything that can fly to birds because they always like, looked up and they saw birds flying. So they just thought, okay, heaven is up there. The planet's here. To come from up there to here, you must fly because that's all they knew. But as I said, when you start to look at the scriptures and you see Gabriel coming and you see like different, they like, they, they're traveling and coming here from what they call heaven. They say Jesus went to heaven and God is in heaven. But you say, where is heaven? They say up there. You say up there where? Mm. 
because up there can just be the sky. It can be outside the planet. It could be the stars beyond, and you can keep going to the galaxy, to the solar system, to the universe. So where exactly is up there? You see, so what it is is that um, angels is a misinterpretation of man's like lack of knowledge at the time to be able to relate it to extraterrestrials. Mm. <clears throat> and like my brother said, extra is something addition to, and terra, you're dealing with the terrain of the planet. Like you would say, anything outside the planet is celestial, yeah? So anything that comes from outside in is referred to as extra to the terrain or extraterrestrial because it's coming from outside of the planet. So any being, so Jesus would be an extraterrestrial. Mm. God would be an extraterrestrial. A meteorite can be an extraterrestrial. It's just extra to the planet Terra, which was one of the names for the planet as well in ancient times. Yeah. Right. So, so it's always a lot to take in. Yeah, 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 it's all right. You know, take, we go slow, we take our time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah, you're just making me have like 10 more questions. <laughs> that's what I said. Like when I went to classes and back yeah. in the day, that's what happens. You would ask a question and from that question, there's going to be like another 10 questions. Yeah. And it just keeps going because it's deep. You know, like I said, we've been lied to for years, for 6,000 years to the point where you really need to relearn everything again. And you have to have that open mind to be like, you know what, I'm a baby again. Let mm. me just soak it all up and do your research, check it out, you know. But nowadays, there's a lot of like social media, TikTok, and you have, um, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all of that, that you can just search and research and you hear mm. different views and people are talking about these things. They may not have it all accurate and exact, you know, like how we do, mm. but... Um, <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like we're welcoming to everyone. And um, if you start your journey, you will, you will find your way just by asking questions and just learning.